Oh, what's going on, guys? Bob here. I'm gonna be doing something different. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to edit an OCE, for example, like so. This is my clip. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it to where I want. So this is the clip. Um, it's kind of something new I'm doing, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's maintain aspect ratio, and let's just get started here. So, this is my song. I'm just going to put it here for now. We, uh, I'll just cut it to where I want it here. This is just one clip, so about here's good enough. Alright, so what we want to do first is, this is the video clip here. Just go. Alright. So let's start with some color correction here. Color corrector, you want to use this one. Um, well, this one's Arcadin, so let's try this one. This little blue highlight here. Move this towards the yellow spectrum, and we'll bring this towards the blue. Got a little blue shade going on. Then what we can do is... I want to increase the contrast that looks god awful on this map. <laughs> see. Oh, yeah. That looks terrible. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just do a little brighten, whatever. Actually, no. It's just going to be some more render time I don't need. So then, what we want to do here is sync it up to the drop real quick just so we have that done. That's always good to do. I believe it is right here. Beautiful. Um, let's get it right where it fires. Bang. I'm going to go ahead and listen to this. Let's turn the decibels down a little bit. It's going to be pretty loud. YOLO, let's hear it. Oh boy. Perfect. Now, um, as you can see here, I do have a few misses, so we're going to get rid of these. I'll show you a cool technique here. Alright, so what you can do is you can press U. That'll uh, remove the clip from the audio. Pretty neat. So I'm going to cut out this audio right here. So now... When people watch this, uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be no sound when I miss those bullets, so they're not gonna notice that I missed them. Perfect, perfect. Let's put that there. I believe this is the right spot. All right, great. So what we want to do is we want to get some cool effects here, like maybe a glow. We'll do that. Low percent, level glint, there we go, intensity, bring that up, suppression, let's get it, perfect. So now let's go try, maybe we should have done glint, let me try this real quick. Oh baby, oh baby, this looks dirty. Alright, let's do that. Let's add a little, uh, little more to this, because you can't get enough of this uh, starburst effect here. Oh, let's go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Some nice effects there. Uh, just keep that about there. Turn the strength down a little bit. Perfect. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, it looks sick. All right, great. So we got our uh, starburst effect. It's really useful. Would you look at that? Just look at that. Okay. Let's cut out this audio. Get that minimized. So now what we can do is let's insert a video track real quick. And as you can see down here, we have, we have beats. Actually, first, 
lens. We need a lens flare. Hold on. Let's go up to lens flare. Great. We'll use, uh, let's try this one. Sunburst effect. Eh, I don't really like it. It's too white. Let's try uh, this one. There we go. That's nice. We can turn the intensity all the way up here. And um, we'll uh, change the light positioning. We'll make a little animation here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate it so where... We'll do one, do another one, do another one. I'm just going to copy paste these in a minute. So I'll be back with you guys. I'll show you what effect I make in just one second here. All right, so I'm back and I played with the lens flare a little bit. We can take a look here. Alright, so now it has some variety. It's shaking around. That's what I'm talking about. What we do need to do, though, is we need to go to the drop. Alright, perfect. I actually don't even think we need this audio clip. The drop is really, really destructive in my ears. So, I'm going to delete that. Get out of here. Delete. Okay. Let's go to the shot, rather. Now, it might be hard to see, but you have to find exactly where you shoot. Right there looks about right, as you can see. Put a little thingy there. Get rid of that. And then what we'll do is we'll go about here. And we're going to go to S, Shake. Now, this is Sapphire Shake. This is a really good, uh, really good uh, look to it here. Did I pass it? Oh, shake. All right, there it is. Where did I see it? Shake. All right, so we're just going to insert it to this clip right here. This is my shot and a little bit after the shot. Now, like a lot of people like to uh, get some subtle shakes. You uh, you can do whatever you want. I like to go uh, amplitude to 5 and frequency to 5. It's just my kind of style. So let's see what that looks like. All right, it looks perfect, actually. That looks really chill, smooth. I like that. So now what we can add to this, let's do a little bit of a decrease here. No, sorry. We'll do this. Uh, you know what? YOLO. Let's just leave it. So now we have some beats here. I think we should play with these. As you can see, when we start, you hear those dun, 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 dun. Those are... What we can do here is we can add a nice little uh, flash effect, and we go to media generators, we go down, it's a really professional thing to do here. Add the white color, solid color, white, and cut it to a small piece here, delete, uh, add a fade to it, and we'll drop the opacity to about 30. 32 is fine. We want to minimize it to fit the size of one beat. Perfect. So now we're going to hit copy, and you're going to want to copy this onto every beat. Now I'll be back with you in a second when we do that. It's got beats all over here. Alright, we're back. I got the uh, the white colors on here. They look really nice. Um, this looks all about good. Let's just add a fade, and I'll go ahead and show you guys the rendered version of it right about now. 